Well, hey there, stranger. Come sit a spell and join me for what I like to call Mass Effect 3 Leviathan. This is Y Caliber. I'm your guide, Matt, and we are checking out some ancient cave paintings. That's the whole mission. Don't mind the gun or, or the explosions or anything. The whole mission is just seeing what these ancient cave paintings are like. So let's let's go examine them a little closer. So it looks like we've got uh, some sort of extended family. I'm going to go ahead and say that's the dad. Maybe a daddy Prothean. A little bit of a pointy head there. And there's a little 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 boy Prothean, a little girl maybe. And that, I don't know, from the mom? But that's, you know, they've, they've all got some hip action going on, so they could all be ladies or, you know, maybe that's just my uh, ethnocentric view of, of human anatomy there, but uh, I don't know. This one appears to be worshipping something, so... Uh, as far as I can tell, this is a society that has uh, four parents per child, and uh, uh, they may not even have a male-female gender, gender binary. We can't really see any distinguishing sexual traits on any of these figures, uh, aside from the, the wider hips, but that doesn't necessarily explain uh, or, or correlate directly to that type of, you know, morphology that we're we're used to experiencing between males and females in our in our human society. So maybe it's more of an Asari type thing. Uh, you know, it's, it's hard to tell. Let's take a closer look here. As you can see, uh, you know, as we mentioned before, the head's got a little... Oh, excuse me there. The head's uh, got a little bit of a, an extension on the back there, something you don't see in, in humans generally, unless they have some sort of deformity. And this one, uh, the head appears to be cleanly bisected right along this line. Now, we don't know if this is some sort of ritual uh, sacrifice, or perhaps this is a, some sort of hat, or a muzzle, or maybe they even have a floating uh, appendage, which appears to be disconnected from the rest of the body, but is connected by some sort of ethereal, uh, perhaps ectoplasmic even, field. Now, the, the head shape on this one is also different, so that suggests some type of significance. This is the only figure that has a different physiology than the others. And we have this figure here. The head shape appears to be subtly different, but uh, still similar to the first two. So we're going to assume that the role of this one is more subservient to the other three parents. This appears to be the chief parent, uh, and these two are the caretaker parents. So perhaps this is the provider figure, and the, the caretaking figures, and the child. But then again, you know, we know nothing about the origin of these paintings. So it could very well be that that's the parent, and these are the kids, and they age by shrinking. There's really no way for us to tell. Uh, now let's move on to the next exhibit. Past these lovely spotlights we have here. We're just going to have to climb up this ladder. I mean, I'm sorry, this is a, this is a field museum. The elevator. Get to it. Yeah, we, do, we need to get to the elevator in case there are any elderly people on this tour. Uh, so, you know, we, we don't want you to feel that you're you're unable to join the tour because of any uh, physical don't mind that that's just we're doing a little bit of cleanup here uh, any sort of physical uh, inability we want to make sure that you feel uh, as welcome as possible here so okay so let's just get back where we were going all right moving along all right, back up the, uh, the, uh, the ladder here. Let's head on towards the next exhibit, which is, I, I guess, over here. There we go. We just need to slide down this way. And uh, here, we'll see this. Uh, this is one of the habitats we found. Just going to clean that up a little bit here. This is one of the habitats of the species. Uh, as you can see, we can't really tell much about how they lived, except that they appeared to sleep in uh, bunk beds, triple bunks, and that they are apparently much shorter than the figures painted on the wall would seem to suggest. Now, if you'll join us, we're just going to get on the elevator here and head up to the next leg of the tour. Hopkins, of course, being uh, the... Okay. All right. 
this exhibit is getting run. real. I told him not to, but he wanted to help the others. Where did everyone go? The gift shop? I'm sorry, they didn't make it. Doctor, I need you to come with me. Oh god. Yes, of course. You need to stick with the tour, Doctor. Follow the man with the red flashlight, or the yellow flashlight, or you can even follow me. Uh, I have a mag light, as you can see here, because I also I, work security uh, at was nights. Was that another dig site when they attacked? I got back as quick as I could, but what's happening? Well, we're, we're opening up the museum. It's a grand opening. There's some more of the figures we can see there. That's the next exhibit. I'm not sure, but it might have something to do with these paintings. Is that Leviathan? Well, we're not entirely yes. sure. Yes, we think so. It's, it's old, much older than my father thought. And there, as if the natives were under its power. Mm. Clearly a reaper, but acting alone. Not like any reaper we've seen before. Oh ho! Doctor, I understand you found something recently. The artifact. Yes, of course. Incredible. It's just ahead. Oh, good. We're almost at the next exhibit. I hope you enjoyed that painting back there. It may sound strange, but I'm certain it affects people. Their behavior. I've only had a short time to study it. The implications are astounding, as you can see. Did you find anything? Not much, but I did learn something about the energy it generates. Get down! The energy of excitement. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What are they doing? That's that's not authorized. They've activated it. I've never managed anything. Uh-oh. Doctor? They've learned to uh, the darkness must not be breached. Uh oh. Shepherd, take it out. Got it. Oh no, it's protected by oh no, never mind. You okay? Cortez, we have Ann Bryson. Need a pickup. On my way, Commander. Alright. Copy that. You see the shuttle, you run. Don't look back. Okay. We're going to need to yes. uh, instigate emergency evacuation procedures at this point. So, uh, please keep your hands and legs inside the vehicle at all times. Really. We'll get him. So the harvester is, of course, the natural enemy of museum curators everywhere. They have no, uh, no manners. Goodbye, sir. You are to be escorted out of our facilities. Whoa! All right. Please, uh, please. <laughs> yeah, that was that was a dangerous thing to do there, but uh, you know, you've got to make sure that we're taking proper care of our guests. We wouldn't want anyone to feel as if they were not valued. You know, uh, not valued participants in this tour. So, you know, we, we just need to make sure that everything is hunky dory for all of you here. Huh. No, never mind. You're not authorized to be on this part of the tour, sir. Neither are you. Thank you. So as you can see, uh, we are here dedicated to your safety and making sure that your experience is as enjoyable as possible, while at the same time being educational and, uh, of course, entertaining. So we wouldn't want you to feel uh, left out or as if you had somehow wasted your time or money here at Leviathan Tours. And as I've mentioned before, I am, I am your guide, Matt. And we're just going to head down here and then uh, make our way over towards the evacuation shuttle in what should be a very calm and orderly manner. Just please uh, don't, don't panic, just continue towards the evacuation shuttle at a calm, orderly pace. And then to keep your hands and legs and other assorted alien limbs inside the vehicle at all times as we accelerate away from the field museum. We hope you enjoyed your visit. You okay?
Yeah, Commander. I, I think so. I blacked out. Leviathan took control of you. We cut the connection before you got hurt. Leviathan itself? That's incredible. The Reapers seem as interested in it as we are. Can't yeah, imagine why. It certainly seems that way. We were hoping you could help us figure out why. But first, Doctor, I have some bad news. And we had to close the gift shop. Suppose Leviathan's broken away from the other Reapers. Never went back to dark space. Like a rogue. Or even a defector. I have to call my father. He'll want to know. Yeah. Uh, you need to listen to me, okay? Your father is dead. I'm sorry. He ate the Cheritos. He... What? Dead? He can't be dead. Massive, massive bowel failure. Fatal. We met with him, hoping to find out what he knew. Something happened. Something evil. Something happened? You're not the first to lose control. Your father's assistant. One minute he was fine, but next... He drew a gun on your father. I couldn't stop him. I'm not Superman, I okay? I can't believe this. We have to find out what's behind it all. You're the only one who can help us. Help us, Dr. Ann Bryson. Ann. You're our only hope. I... I, I want to see his office. That's cool. We'll arrange for transportation. Meet you there. We're gonna go back there and click on things endlessly anyway. The nemesis is a nimble opponent armed with a powerful sniper rifle. Take aim if you don't want your head to be exploded. Alright. How you doing, trainer? Commander. That's me. I guess we're heading back to the Citadel again. Let's see what we can discover there. Oh, there's only 50% of the assets. Well, there's still more that we can discover here. Let's keep looking. There we go. What do you got for me? You've got some fuel. 350 units of it. That is pretty sweet stuff. Alright, and then back to Nerif. Only 33% of the assets in the system, eh? Fascinating. Bleep. Signal confirmed. Ooh. Okay, alright. Whoa, calm down, Reapers. What's this? What is this? Where'd all this stuff come from? Ah, a Jovian dissertation. Cool. Alright, I'll leave orbit there and. Only 50%, eh? How about over here? Nope, never mind. Goodbye. Reapers eluded. <laughs> Let's get back to the Citadel. Let's head on back to the Citadel, why don't we? Shazam! We still got a minute or so left. <sighs> Here we go. Back to Bryson's lab. Enter that orbit. Let's go and dock in that station. Let's go visit that lab. That laboratory. See what we can discover by clicking on it today, and of course we'll visit Bob and see if maybe we can convince him to come back to us, uh, come back with us to the Normandy this time. He didn't seem too hip on it last time, but you never know. You can always hope, right? Hello? Anne? Are you here? Look, uh, I've only got an Omni tissue. Is that okay? They kind of okay. burn. Oh, Commander. But they'll cauterize your tear so. ducts. Just. This is hard. Well, yeah, you're sitting on the floor. I, I don't know what to tell you. There's a bed right behind you. I'm sure that's much softer. Of course. Are you alright? Yes. No. I don't know. Those are all My three possible responses. In a great state. An argument? Yes. It was Boop -boop. trivial. A disagreement on how to file some of the specimens. I was mad about something else. I don't remember what. And I took it out on him. Just 
It's so stupid. It's all right. I can come back. It's not like no. the fate of the galaxy is at stake or anything. I'm okay. Oh, Seeing yeah, you can. Again. He was so obsessed. Crazy sometimes. I didn't get a chance to know him. Oh, yeah, he died pretty I fast. Felt the same way. He was a great man. A pioneer. But he could be distant. I felt like an inconvenience growing up. You sound angry. I was angry. Still am, I guess. That's okay. But sometimes, he was so full of stories, he nearly burst. I love that about him. It's why I signed up for this work. <laughs> I can't believe he's gone. I can't believe we'll it's not butter. We have to. But it's actually soy protein. I need to know what's on the other end of that artifact. What he died for. And lots and lots of salt. We need your help. You're our last chance. You're right. Let me dig into my father's work to see what I can find. Keep that artifact shielded, okay? Anne, you sure you're up for this? Yes. When Leviathan took control of me, I remember being somewhere cold and dark. Like a fridge in a nuclear explosion in an Indiana my Jones father movie. taught me to never be afraid of the dark. He implanted flashlights in my eyes. Alright, stuff to click on, I guess. What do we gotta click on now? Well, I guess we'll find out in the next episode, which is sure to be action-packed. So until then, all the best.